There are gonna be a lot of media members that try to take credit for what I'm about to say, that Anthony Davis ends up in Los Angeles. Anthony Davis will not sign an extension in the offseason when he's eligible to. It's out there now and it's, it's, it's public knowledge, so uh, what we have to do is block it out and do our jobs. He's like one of the main, like 90% of the reason why I stayed. That'll be good for the Lakers um, or whatever team that gets him. You know, we, we want guys to do exactly what they want to do in this league. We have a short amount of time, so why not do what you want? Anthony Davis was fined $50,000 by the NBA for violating the CBA for making a trade request public. Yes, it has been a week of talking about Anthony Davis and his future and where will he end up and I want to ask Will Bond, how did the Pelicans fail as far as trying to keep this guy in New Orleans? Well, I mean, Paul referred to this earlier already. They failed because they're not having any kind of season. I mean, Anthony Davis understandably wants to go somewhere where he has a chance to win. He has no chance to win if he can't even get in the playoffs. Right. The West is difficult, I know, and I know there have been injuries. But when you look, okay, there's so 47%. Mm. Your winning percentage. But I thought, Paul, this has all changed last year. Mm -hmm. They get in the playoffs. They beat Portland. I know the Warriors series only went five, but there were some times they were really competitive. And I know they thought, and I know Alvin Gentry thought this, they were going to take a step forward this year and look to go deeper in the playoffs. Maybe instead of finishing six and having to be the three, you know, finish Based on top, what, though? Finish your fourth. These guys are all going to be together. Miritich more comfortable in his role. Anthony Davis still getting better at whatever it is, 25 years old. And, and, Michelle, for them to be this bad, to be this far out of the playoffs picture, I mean, Dallas may not always be ahead of them in the standings, but they've passed them in terms of the energy of the franchise, how they feel about their great young player in Doncic. And New Orleans, Anthony Davis, if they were where they were last year and on the rise, that would be more difficult. I don't think you would have heard that announcement if the Pelicans were fourth or fifth in the Western Conference right now. We would not be talking about this. Two simple things. If you re-sign DeMarcus Cousins... Oh, wow. Okay. ...and you re-sign Rajon Rondo, they wouldn't be in this position right now. So I put a lot of that on upper management for not bringing those pieces back because Rondo clearly hmm. was the engine for them in the playoffs. And you say, hey, we sweep the Blazers. You know, we lose to the Warriors, but we're going to get an upgrade back the next year in DeMarcus Cousins. So... Yeah, do you think... Like, let's, let's build on that. And, and that was the mistake right there because as a superstar player... You putting up empty stats. You watching your peers out here night in and night out go to the playoffs, having a shot at it. You're putting up PER numbers that's out of this world, Anthony Davis, and it's all going away. What about the people who say, "Yeah, but what about Anthony Davis as a superstar? Why haven't you been able to carry this team further?" You than can't you have? do it by yourself. There's only but one we do guy see some guys that, that can do that, and that's LeBron. <laughs> right. We've only seen one guy. So then, even that. if those guys had stayed, at the end of the day, if what they he really wants to do is position. play with LeBron, well, let's go back to Rondo for a second. Because we saw just the year before that what he did with the Chicago Bulls team that had right. nothing. If he doesn't get hurt, they, they beat the Celtics. They beat the Celtics in the first round. So Rondo, I mean, Rondo's... This is Rondo's fault. ...status is so far beyond, <laughs> beyond questioning. But if they... But, but to not sign both those guys, and I think Rondo might have been more important, particularly when you look yeah. at a guy that you need to rally, it takes some of the pressure off Anthony Davis. I mean, yes. as a leader, we see this in Washington. Paul knows this firsthand. We're going to get to this with John Wall. So after Paul, they let Paul go... They have still not replaced his veteran presence, not on the, just on the floor, but in the locker room. How and can they? The New Orleans didn't do that tough, with Rondo. How do you replace that That's guy? Tough. You, you just, it's just impossible to do. Uh, so this, obviously, all of this situation with the brow has inspired us to bring back a little segment we like to call This or That. that. Oh. Here Let they me come see down. what we got. Here they come. Here they come. Down. Here they come. This or that, 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 this or that. You could get with this or you could get with that. You could get with this or you could get with that. You could get with this or you could get with that. I think you get with this, this is kind of that. You could get with this or you could get with that. You could get with this or you could get with that. You could get with this or you could get with that. I think you get with this. Cause this is where it's at. We're going to get into this, and we are going to take this whole thing from the Pelicans' point of view. If you were the Pelicans' GM, what would you do? So first up, this Lakers package. Will Bond, you're going to start this one off. All the non-LeBron Lakers or Anthony Davis? Well, the deal hasn't been made. It doesn't seem like it's going to get made, so clearly that's a signal. He's not answering the phone for the Lakers. I would answer it. phone calls. <laughs> um, but, I mean, calls. Ingram is better. He's so much better without LeBron. He's having 20 points a game without LeBron, but with him, 
And then I, I really like Kuzma. I mean, it's the yep. jury's out on whether they what they think of Ball, but I think they would say Anthony Davis, and that's why the phone is is still ringing. Silence. Paul. Anthony Davis. <laughs> okay, I, mean, I got to stay with this generational talent. Yep. I mean, come on. You don't get players like this don't fall into your lap every day. You can find a Kuzma. You can find an Ingram, but not an Anthony Davis. Okay, that's fair. How about, uh, and you're going to start this one off, Anthony Davis or the Knicks duo of a recovering Porzingis and the rookie, Kevin Knox. That's one I may take a chance on. That's one because Porzingis is a new generation big man. He doesn't need much athleticism. If he gets back healthy, which I believe he will, then you got a promising rookie in Knox. That's a deal I can live with trading for Anthony Davis. Well, that's okay. That's big. I can live with it too if I, you can assure me that Porzingis. And, and Paul's right family. about this this thing, this particular thing. People are coming back from this injury now, pretty good as pretty they, awful. you know, pretty yeah. close to 100. Yes. Where there's some other injuries that still, you know, bother people for two, three more seasons. If you can guarantee me that, I might be able to live with it, but I got to see Porzingis. Has there been a video? It's been There's a minute. video of everything in the world. There's no video lately of Porzingis running Too many things, on the really. beach. Or, it, right. Nothing. Running on the beach. Something. Bill Bond, we'll talk about it in the break. Uh, thinking ahead to the draft <laughs> and a potential opportunity for your Bulls, actually. Uh, yeah. Anthony Davis or the likely number one pick, Nile. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> That's so, a good I'm one. I'm really conflicted here because Anthony Davis again, oh, Chicago, Chicagoan. And by the way, I think that the Bulls will be conflicted. If I can have Markkanen, Wendell Carter, and Zion Williamson, you're wow. going to be an entire front Ooh. line if I am the New Orleans Pelicans, right? Ooh. And you're talking about guys on rookie contracts, so you'll be able to do some things in free agency as well. I think I about might this one. do that. <laughs> if I'm the Bulls, Paul, I don't know. The energy that Zion Williamson yeah. is going to bring whoever he's drafted by yes. to that place, that arena, right. that city, I don't know if I do that if I'm the Bulls. If I'm the Pelicans, it's bye-bye, Anthony Davis. <laughs> and wow. We'll order you your Uber, and we'll have one when you land. Because if I could get Zion Williams, <laughs> <laughs> window Carden and marketing, I got to do it. Whole front line. Okay, yeah. he thought about it. He thought this one out, which I kind of like. Um, this would maybe break the internet. Maybe. <laughs> What's this? Anthony one? Davis and Paul, you'll start us out on this All one. Right. Or Draymond Green and Ooh. DeMarcus. Ooh. Oh, that's a good one, man, because Draymond is, you know, he's a good piece. And then you got the oh, that's his cousin difficult. starting to look. He looked like he going to get back into his rhythm. Do, do, do. But I'll take Anthony Davis on this one. Like really? I said, a generational talent again. Oh, wow, really? Okay. I just, I'm just going with now. You know, right now, Draymond is not playing like Draymond. And DeMarcus Cousins hasn't got back to that level yet. And I know what AD is bringing every night now before he had his injury. Well, okay. This is hard. This one's legit. This one's I've gone back and forth a few times. I, I watched DeMarcus Cousins last week in a couple games in person in, in, in Washington. And Paul, <laughs> he's still, when everybody's gone small with their lineups, right? Mm -hmm. So when he catches the ball in the post, which nobody even looks to throw it in anymore, and he seals, it's an automatic. I mean, he can shoot like. 65, 68 percent the rest of the way because yes. teams are small and they have no resistance for Demarcus if he's all the way back. He's all the way back yet, but he's coming. And then Draymond brings some elements I mean, come that. Come on. They yeah. and, and, and you know what? That's if, a tough one. Be that fun. Tough one. And if Coach Gentry's still there, he's had. He was an assistant. He's been on that staff. He knows how to deal with Draymond in terms of what he wants to do on the court and the way he likes to be used. I might go Boogie and Draymond. Okay. Wilbon taking right. some shots here. I kind of like it. Take some chances. Um, and you mentioned Alvin Gentry there, and he brought this up earlier in the season. Um, Wilbon, I'm going to start with you. Anthony Davis or Beyonce? What are we talking about? Are we talking about singing? Are we talking about just <laughs> life? Just who I life. Have in the arena every night? Oh man. Sure. Okay. I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm just. I'm gonna. I'm gonna avoid any trouble. What? That's no. Problem. I'm gonna avoid any trouble. And just answer the safe answer. Say Anthony Davis. Are you kidding me? I want Beyonce hey, for Davis. any purpose that is not basketball. <laughs> Singing, <laughs> entertaining, smiling, just being in a this room. Is, this is an easy one, Beats. Is I'm it? going with the one that puts up 30 plus million a year <laughs> and, fills, and fills the <laughs> arena. Beyonce. True, she does. She's, she's, I've she's been to this, I've Davis. seen the arena with Anthony Davis. On the court. I've seen some empty seats. And I've seen an arena yeah, with Beyonce right. on the you're court. Right. Now, it's sold out. I know what those What are the owners trying to for? do right now? If you're not winning championships, it's about making money. By the way, have you ever had the beehive come after you? Really? <laughs> 
<laughs> I have. No, I, I've had. It's it's a tough group. Okay. Uh, our NBA Friday doubleheader tips off. Now. Yeah, no, it's it's woo. at the Garden. Kyrie and the Celtics taking on the Knicks, and then Jokic and the Nuggets ooh, hosting James Harden and the Rockets. Our coverage begins with NBA Countdown at 7 Eastern on ESPN, and of course, the app. How about tonight's rising star brought to you by Mountain Dew? DeMontis Sabonis, Mountain Dew Ice, has averaged just under 14 points in 13 games without Victor Oladipo. Most improved player. Pacers are 2-0 against the Wizards this season. We'll find out if that continues Or well, maybe sixth man of the year. Of the, oh, you're, just, that. you're just feeling real awardy uh, lately. Coming up, radar. Portland's electric backcourt duo receives a visit from a man who knows a thing or two about legendary duos, Scottie Pippen, talking about the best backcourts and how to bounce back from last year's disappointing finish. Welcome back to NBA Countdown, presented by Mountain Dew Ice. They play the heck out of some basketball up in the Pacific Northwest. Damian Lillard and C.J. McCollum have been the all-star caliber faces of the Blazer franchise for years now. But deep runs in the playoffs have eluded them. They got to visit this guy this week from a guy whose understanding of playoff runs is the deepest it can be. Scottie Pippen met Damon C.J. I'm most looking forward to talking to Damon and CJ. They can score the basketball. They can make plays. They're as good as any tandem in the NBA. What's up, fellas? Good, good. Right. Man, it's so great to be back out in the Northwest, dude. This place has changed so much. It's, it's a pleasure to be here with you, way you guys. Than when you was in here, man. What I really like about what you guys do on the basketball court is you guys play together real well in terms of chemistry and you're dedicated to this franchise. You know, I haven't heard you guys complaining about, I want to leave, I want to win a championship. Much respect to you guys for that. Appreciate it, appreciate it, man. So I got to ask you guys, CJ, who's the toughest guy you've had to guard? I say on the ball, James. Off the ball, either Steph or Clay, because of the movement. Damon. I think the same. You know, we play like the Rockets. We all end up guarding James, getting switched on to him. Off the dribble, he's just so crafty, drawing fouls, step back both ways. It's hard to guard. But in my career, my rookie year, I, I played against Kobe, and I was like serious. Yeah. He was like, he was the, that deal for real, for real. He was a little bit like that guy I used to play with, uh, Jordan. Like Jordan, yeah. Yeah, yeah but exactly. I used to uh, guard Michael a lot in practice, and I totally understand uh, a tough guard. I would say Dominique was probably my toughest guard because he was shooting threes from beyond the arc back in the 80s and the 90s. So uh, he really expanded the game. All right, guys, I've had a lot of fun on this court. Let's make a three before we go in the film room. Let's do it. All right, who want to go first? I'll go first with Spot. I know you guys are. From the hey. Don't y'all let me make one before y'all, man. Okay. Come on, man. Hold on, hold on, man. No, 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 He's hold on, that. hold on. Make it with a hand in your face. I shoot better with a hand in my face. Oh, man. Okay. I'm playing, man. <laughs> you. Bro, hey, hey, you need legs for this. That's the first thing that you lose when you, when you, when you get old. Hey, big oh. shot, big shot. There it is. All right, guys, let's, let's, let's go in this film room. I'm wondering why my number ain't up there. <laughs> you guys are ranked among the league as the best pull-up guys. Damian from three. CJ, mid-range, tell me a little bit about what you guys are feeling when you're pushing the ball up. We play a lot in pick and roll. We constantly telling our bigs to, you know, make sure you get a piece of them because if the big is back, I know that I'm pulling up for three every time. I'm just trying to keep the mid-range alive, you know, for the for the OGs out there that used to shoot a lot of mid-range shots. Just trying to get to like a little sweet spot around the elbow area and bigs usually bad guards usually chasing so you can just kind of stop on a dime and pull up. Anytime you got an advantage on the defensive player, they were able to stop you on a dime. And by me being a point forward, I was able to always see the floor. So I, I had opportunities to just pull up on shots because I felt like in the half court situation, I was more focused on running the, the team and I tried to score my points out of transition. You got nice, baby. Yeah. Now that's my blazer days here. You out on the West Coast. You got CP3, you got Harding in Houston. You got the Splash Brothers. How do you feel like you line up against those sets of guards? Obviously, there's a lot of good talent. 
the Splash Brothers have won multiple championships. They bring a different dynamic with the way they play. I think that we go compete against everybody. We go give ourselves the best chance of winning. And I think it showed, and as we continue to, to progress, it's about carrying over what we do in the regular season to the playoffs. The last time the Blazers was in the Western Conference Finals, I was a part of the uh, team. Do you guys see yourself being in those shoes one day, playing for a championship? I hope so. <laughs> as a Blazer? <laughs> I mean, I, that's the plan, man. I think it'll happen. You know, eventually, I think that's that's the way it's gonna work out. I really appreciate you guys giving us your your time this afternoon, and sure. I wish you nothing but the best going forward this season. Thank you. Appreciate, appreciate you it, man. Out. Good to see you. Thank you, guys. Put Get that off. uniform back on, man. All right, man. I wish I could, dude. <laughs> So only two pairs of teammates have averaged at least 20 a game each of the last four seasons. It's Steph and Clay, and Damon CJ. That's not bad. This season, they are averaging a combined 47 points a game, which is third among all backcourts in the league. I wonder if Scotty could put the uniform back on. Sports Center tonight after Jazz Blazers and after the buzzer with Neil and Stan. Our reactions from Pelicans fans after New Orleans' first home game since AD's trade request. Some Doncic debut in the Big Apple and Super Bowl reports begin with Atlanta. A look at the battle in the trenches. Sports Center, 1 a.m. Eastern on ESPN and always the app. With John Wall recovering from a season-ending injury, the Wizards' hopes lie squarely on the shoulders of that man, Bradley Beal. Before he defends his house against Indiana tonight, we'll get a little look inside his actual house. That's next.